The white blood cells, also known as leukocytes, are involved in body's defense against the pathogens, which includes infectious diseases or foreign bodies. These cells lack hemoglobin, shows diapedesis, which is leukocyte extravasation. Here in this animation, we can see how white blood cell comes out of the circulation towards the tissue damage, that's diapedesis. These cells also show chemotaxis, which is directed migration of a cell in response to a chemical stimulus. And then we have phagocytosis by these cells, where these cells ensure ingesting and eliminating foreign bodies. Now we see the WBCs are classified into two classes, granulocytes and agranulocytes. The granulocytes are further divided into neutrophils, eosinophils, and basophils. The neutrophils comprises of 40 to 75 percent of total granulocytes, eosinophils 1 to 6 percent, and basophils 0.1 to 0.6 percent. Then we see agranulocytes are divided into lymphocytes and monocytes. The lymphocytes comprises of 20 to 40 percent, and monocytes 2 to 10 percent. The lymphocytes are further divided into T cells, B cells, and NK cells whereas the monocytes differentiate into macrophages and dendritic cells. Now let's discuss the granulocytes first. The granulocytes contain granules. We get the secretion from these granules while fighting for infections or pathogens. These cells are produced in bone marrow via granulopiosis. And we know we have three different types of granulocytes, neutrophil, eosinophil, and basophil shown in the diagram. The neutrophil secretion via azurophilic or primary granules contain myeloperoxidase, cathepsin G, defensins, elastase, proteinase, and alpha-1 antitrypsin. Whereas secondary granules or specific granules secretes lactoferrin antibacterial substance, gelatinase, and free radicals. And furthermore, we see these neutrophils are highly phagocytic in nature and are hypermotile. Then we have eosinophil granules which contains histaminase, ECF, and MBP. These eosinophils are less motile than neutrophils and are less phagocytic in nature. Then we head towards the basophils, which have granules containing heparin, histamine, 5 ST, and these eosinophils show mild phagocytosis. Now let's see what agranulocytes are. They have absence of granules in their cytoplasm. These develop in lymph glands and spleen. And we have two types of agranulocytes, monocytes and lymphocytes. Monocytes which differentiate into macrophages or dendritic cells, whereas the lymphocytes generates as the antibodies. Now let's differentiate the granulocytes with agranulocytes. We know granulocytes are leukocytes that contain granules in their cytoplasm whereas the agranulocytes are leukocytes that doesn't contain any type of granules in their cytoplasm or simply we can say they have the agranular cytoplasm. Secondly, we see these granulocytes are also known as polymorphonuclear leukocytes, whereas the agranulocytes are also known as mononuclear leukocytes. These agranulocytes are classified into neutrophils, eosinophils, and basophils whereas the agranulocytes are classified into monocytes and lymphocytes. When we talk about its origin and development, we see granulocytes originate from bone marrow, whereas the agranulocytes originate from lymphoid and spleen. The granulocytes comprises of 65% of total leukocytes, whereas the agranulocytes comprise of 35% of the total leukocytes. And when we see the structure of these two different classes, we see the granulocytes nucleus has two to five lobes, whereas the agranulocytes have nucleus with single lobe. And finally, we see granulocytes are involved in innate immunity, whereas the agranulocytes are involved in adaptive immunity. So this is a brief overview of WBCs, their structure, classification. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.